Loving the coffees, Robin. Thank you. Sometimes you get to your carving tent and you just don't know what to carve. Got my propane uh, heater going today. So I got these logs here. I got four of these blocks. That's uh, bone dry cedar. So let's see here. Let's do the eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a hot stripper by her toe. If she hollers, don't let her go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so everything's kind of repetitive for me right now. I got some owls carved there. Those are silly owls. I think what I'm going to do is put this block on there and carve an owl. It's why I, I, I talked to just carver all this morning. And I said, what should I do? Woods, a coffee table base with four wood spirits on each side or an owl? And he said, carve an ice cube. So thanks for the help, Rob, today. But anyways, I'm going to put this on here. And it's the easiest for me to show, to draw out how I'll carve an owl. I don't know if it's going to turn out. I'm not a professional owl carver. But you see these owls. Look how fat this one is. These are just like, uh, there's the chest and there's the face. Same with that big fat owl. There's the chest, there's the face. The owls that I'm going to carve today are going to have the face over top of the wing. So the face would be turned this way. And just kind of uh, show you guys, why not? It's easy for me to show you how Ryan Cook and uh, Uncle Kevin taught me, kind of. Like this owl right up here. But I got my favorite saw. This is my 034. I got it tuned up at the shop on the island when I was there. Total, it's total. I haven't run it yet. Oh, it's even got a new pull cord on it. So, yeah, I'm going to get this sucker fired up with this cannon bar. I think this is like a 20-inch cannon bar or something. Tips kind of melted a bit there. That's okay. And um, we'll carve an owl. Okay. So, you know, I was just thinking about this. I might be a repetitive carver. Oh yeah, look to see where the cracks are here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but the cracks are right here. So I might be a repetitive carver. But if you're not repetitive when you're not a naturally born artist, how do you expect to be a good artist? So I'll keep pumping the videos out. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. The more you do, the better you're going to get. Sometimes, most times, anyways. So you guys can see that crack right here. This thing filming. It's a big crack right here, but it only goes this far into the wood. Um, so I think I'll make this crack. I'll take it away, but we'll just turn that over there. So I'll get this jacked up. I'll get it screwed in, and uh, we'll draw the owl on. Okay, so I'm not trying to be a professional owl carver or anything like that, but, oh, we got a knot there. That's going to be where his eye is. So, but that's okay. So, you know, like, I'm going to show you pictures. I think I'm, excuse me, I think I'm going to do kind of like a barn owl. I don't know. I, it's going to be an owl. It's going to be a carbon fusion owl. But I'm going to show a couple pictures right now of different types of owls. So you guys can see, you look at the pictures. You can see that their bodies are, okay, picture time, picture time, picture time. But you can look at their bodies, how they're sloped back from the head to the feet, to the talons. So, okay, no more pictures. So the head's going to be right here, right? Then you, you slope here. First of all, we want to have a base. This will be our base, okay? Then we slope the body back this way. Now let's have some, actually, let's push it over a bit. Okay, head, body, slope back, and then legs and talons. So we'll lose this line. And same with the back. It's going to be a skinnier owl. So, then our wing will be down, our tail will be down here. So, we got these drawings, lines drawn up here.
Okay? So what you're going to see me do with my saw is cut here. Then I'm going to cut all down this and cut this all out. Okay? Does that make sense to you? And our wing will be right here. Wherever you want to put your wing. So I'm going to get this blocked out. So I'm going to cut away all this wood here. Then stop it and then do another cut right here. And his talons will be right down here. Cut here and here. And that's your front shape. Then we can do the round shape on the front and the back. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here you can see what I got going on now. Um, I thought this was going to be cedar because it's pretty light. Well, it's not that light, but it's actually, it's bone dry, very old Douglas fir. What's that there? That's just a knot. Very old bone dry Douglas fir. Okay, so that's, this is what's happening. Now, I'm going to cut... Let me set it up on the tripod. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back so the owl's not on the very edge of the carving, right? So I'm going to cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it like this. Make it round. Same with the back. I'm going to make it. I'm going to go like this. All right? And take, take, so take that much off this side. Take that much off this side. I won't film doing that because, well, I just don't need to. Anyways. Okay, so this is kind of the first time I've done it like this. Let's see here. So I've split the legs. I'll get my little chainsaw on. Friggin' thing thing. So, but here you can see. So now, even these pieces, I'll keep these because I can, you know, you know I can make it like a 2D owl out of that. You know what I mean? So, but then again, it's Douglas fir. Anyways, back to the main focus of this. Silly little owl. Okay, so now I got that done. Um, the tail. Let's see here. Um, well, let's worry about the tail after. <laughs> I've never done one. I think what I'll do first is like uh, Ryan Cook's got some great videos on owls. If you guys want to check, head over to his channel, Ryan Cook Carving, is to try and shape the owl. So the wing, the wing will be here. Don't pay attention to this line. I'm just going to shape the, the shape it, make it nice and round first. Then I'll draw on the wings, okay? And um, just the body, the head, it's going to be a cut like this. I'm going to take this way back. Like this. Then like this. And what you do is you get your center line on here. And you swoosh it out like that. So it will be a cut like this. Whoosh, okay? Then you do another cut from here. And then this cut will be swooshed out like that. Okay. So I'm going to go around and round it off with my chainsaw. And I'm not going to show you guys. And I'll get rid of this wooden side here. And uh, just kind of, yeah, it's a learning process for me. Okay. So that's a little talons cut in. Took it deep back in here. Um, see how I kind of rounded the body? It's not perfectly set up yet, but um, rounded the body, rounded the body, rounded the body a bit. So I should have really put this crack on this side. But you know what? I'll be able to hide this because his wings are going to come down here. That's his tail. And then we'll... Try and hide this with their cut cuts. So the wing. So if you look at this right now, it's pretty, it's a pretty tall owl. This is, you know, I kind of started off thinking I was going to do a barn owl, so they're thinner, but it's okay. 
Um, you know, it's better to leave a taller head than a shorter head. So the wings. So let's go like this. Let's see if we can give you a better view here. So we got our center line here. Okay. So we'll go like this. So we'll get this wing to, actually we'll get this wing to overlap. Actually, whatever. Just cut there and there and then straight down. So the wing will come up here and down here. And then the same on the other side. So I'm going to do a straight cut here. Straight, pretend this is my bar. I'll do a straight cut. Remove some of this wood here to make the wing pop out. Then we'll carry the wing down here. Take some of this wood away here to make the, the tail or whatever it's called for an owl. Yeah, it's a tail. Stick out. And then the legs too. So his body will be right here. So we also got to cut this out too. Yeah, I can cut right through there. And we're just trying new things, you know. Over and over, progression. Progress, right? We'll worry about the head after. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to take this piece right out. So the, the legs are see-through. Cut the tail like I showed you. And then uh, I'll be back on both sides. Okay. So he's got skinny little legs. I hope they're not going to break off, but I think they'll be fine. <laughs> His legs should be closer together, but who cares? We can we can clean these up later. Um, he's got little frog legs. But if you look at a barn owl legs, they got skinny little legs too. So um, let's, let's focus on the head now. So you can see how tall the head is, right? So... The head's so tall, now I can kind of make it like uh, Uncle Kevin's spook owl. So let's put our, our beak, we'll go here. So that's going to be our eyes. So normally, I would do the, the swoosh cut, like right here. So his head... You know what? Um, let's see here. Let me just kind of play around with this, have some fun. I think I'll cut this out. I'm just going to kind of make a silly owl. Screw it. This guy's, this guy's already silly anyways. So you can see how I removed this wood to get the tail down there. And um, yeah, this is super hard, uh, old Douglas fir. You know, like I could cut this off right here, remove this top, and it will just be like a normal owl. Let's give this, uh, this is going to be a freaky owl. Sure is. Ha. For all you that know uh, Uncle Kevin and his spook owls, I just sent him a picture of this. This is the picture I sent him right like this. <laughs> he goes, he goes fucking awesome. But he's probably a liar. Well, he's not a liar, but you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, yeah, he's working on a big, huge 10-foot bear and cubs thing. Anyways, so... Now I'll, uh, I don't want to spend too much time. Another thing too I want to suggest, say, like, this, these blocks are so old. You know, sometimes maybe like uh, this Douglas fir is pretty chippy wood. Like you, you get little chips breaking off. Um, sometimes the older wood isn't the best wood to carve, you know. So I'll just say that. So anyways, let's put our, uh, out. let's get some bigger, uh, Put our owl um, feathers on. So come down here like this and this and this. So what I'll do is I'll do an up cut here like this. And then here and remove some of the wood below this so it, it overlaps each other. And then you'll see me. Uh, I don't know if I should film doing this because it's kind of tricky to film doing this. But anyways, I'll show you. So and then this, is, this part's going to have pieces like this too and this is going to be just like a crisscross up here and then for the owl textures here I'll just get my I'm going to sharpen my chain really sharp so it's not so chippy and I'll just crisscross um, these these things down here like this 
I'll do with the head and the face later with my die grinder. Okay, so you can see that. Look at those chicken legs but if you look at a barn owl they got real thin legs but anyways who cares just hope it doesn't break off this one's pretty good but this one's just a little bit thin but i base this carving like um looking at it this way okay okay so now i got my uh David Grass grinder that he bought me. And I got a cut saw. I just cleaned it out. A cut saw carving burr on here. This is the quarter inch extreme flame burr. I'm going to run around and I'm going to start detailing this head. Making it look like there's, well, there's thing things on there. And, yeah. And uh, what else am I going to do? I got to fix this eye. Make this eye a bit smaller to match this eye. See, it's a little bit big. Just try and make things equal, I guess. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse and I'm going to have my uh, trend dust mask on. You guys, this is like a $400 dust mask. It's in my Amazon store in the description below. And um, it's, it's got a rechargeable battery. It's got filters inside of it there. And it pushes the air in so these things don't get fogged up. I love it.
So that's going to be it for this one. I got a good name for this for this owl. This owl is officially called the caterpillar butterfly owl. Look at those legs. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. I just kind of kept on going with it. You know, I could probably cut those legs off and then carve some talons deeper in here. Just like so they're kind of tucked in, but I just don't care. It's done. What do you think of that one there? Just carved Rob Studio on the lakes, huh? Caterpillar, caterpillar butterfly owl. You ever see one of those? Spike, huh? Okay, so now it's still, it's only like 2 in the afternoon. I think I got here at 11, so that took me 3 hours. No, I think it probably took me 2 hours. Anyways... I'm going to carve four wood spirits on this block, but I'm not going to film. I'll show you guys what it looks like after. But this is your best point right here to carve a wood spirit. Wood spirit, wood spirit, wood spirit, wood spirit, crack. Yep. Okay. Carry on, Jess Carve Rob. Carry on. The first ever caterpillar butterfly owl right there with the skinny little exoretic legs. You know, when you look at the caterpillar uh, butterfly owl on the ground, it doesn't look too bad. But I think it looks more like a caterpillar moth. What do you guys think? Anyways. <laughs> One wood spirit down. Three to go. Next! Next! Let's just move this moth owl out of the way. I got it done, Jess Carve Rob. And I would like to apologize. This is not very old bone dry Douglas fir. It's bone dry, probably. I don't know. It's hemlock. That's what it is. So here's one. Two. And if, if you notice, none of them have eyes. This guy kind of does. Okay, start over again. One, one, two, three. And I finished it off for you, just carved Rob, with an uh, old school carving fusion wood spirit. What do you think about that? Just carved up. Oh. So now I'll get a nice round one day. I'll get a nice round. Doesn't have to be too big. Just a nice table for outside around the fire pit or something. Just get a round table and fasten it to the top. This is called, this is called, um, hold on a minute, give me some time to think of a name for it. I know what it's called. Well, first of all, sign your pieces. This is called the Spirits of Four Seasons. Summer, Fall, Winter. It's spring. I love it. I got two more of these to carve. There's the big crack. Who cares? Yeah. So, you know, like, just an inspirational thing for all you beginning carvers with the Dremels or whatever. You're carving these wood spirits. They're, uh, if I could carve these every day, all day, I would. Well, I can. If you can't carve eyes, don't worry about carving the eyes. I'm not very good at eyes myself. I don't have the patience, and I really don't care. I'm not trying to carve wizards. I'm not trying to carve real people's faces. These are wood spirits. Wood spirits can be whatever you want them to be. As long as you can get that nose to pop off and some eyebrows, you can do whatever you want. I'm not a realism carver. I'm a fantasy carver. Look at this. 
If you guys can see that, look at this. This fat little owl, a big fat owl and some funny face. Once you can get that nose to pop off and your eyebrows established, then you're on you're on a good track. That's it, everybody. I got her done. Just carved Rob. Now I got to clean up my mask, go home, have a hot bath, and um, maybe I'll order pizza. No, I can't. I got to stay away from Greece. Guess I'll go to Subway, get one of those rice bowl salads. Thanks, everybody. Oh, I love it. Ha <laughs> ha. Studio on the Lake. More videos. Sticks and stones.